Welcome back to Break Tech. My name is Doug, and in this video, we're going to continue and hopefully finish our series on how to create a portfolio site using Materialize CSS. So, if you scroll down to the bottom of our site so far, you can see that we ended with our contact section. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a footer. So, in this footer, we'll go ahead and move to the bottom of our page, I'll create a new comment, I'll call it this the footer section. started. So I'm going to use the HTML footer class and then we're going to add a page footer class in blue, gray, and darken 3 which is uh, similar to what we used at the top of the page. create a container. Inside that container we'll go ahead and create our first row. Oops. Keep it enter rather than tab. And this column we're going to have it be uh, L6 S12. And inside we'll just have like an H5 say column it'll be white text and under that I just want to have an unordered list with list items and I used Emmett to create five but now I'm saying that I should have added all the classes so that's a bummer we'll use gray text text lighten four and then well I'm just gonna have a list of uh, like additional services and it's sort of for um, search engine optimization all right and we'll just have an additional a couple additional items here so updates and upgrades UI UX design uh, site maintenance All right. So underneath that row, or I'm sorry, underneath that column, I should say, we want another column. And this one will be L4. Offset L2. And then S12. And in that one, we're going to have another H5. We're going to have that one be white text as well. And then we can put links. And then I'm going to do another unordered list. list items. So I'll just copy this part. And we're going to change the color just a bit. We'll do text light in three. So this is a list of items, but this one's going to be a list of links. Rather than having the classes on the list item itself, I'm going to have them on the anchor tag. Okay. 
pulls off the anchor tag and then we're gonna change this to this will just be like a bottom navigation so our services section our about section our work section and our contact section Have a look at what that looks like. So you scroll down to the bottom here, you'll see yeah, that blue gray footer again. Um, not quite done with the footer though. So underneath that last column, we'll go ahead and create uh, this is called footer. Copyright, and these are all materialized classes. These aren't things I came up with. Uh, we'll have this one be blue, gray, dark, and four. And I'll pull up the uh, documentation in just a minute to show you what I'm talking about. And inside there, I want to have another div with a container. Copyright symbol followed by the year. Say all rights reserved. Actually, use this for whatever you want. And beneath that. Really, I should put in a p tag. Uh, beneath that, we'll go ahead and have another anchor tag. And that one will go to nothing, a gray text, text, light, and four. And right, which is just right align it, and I'll call that one privacy policy. And let's go have a look at our handiwork. So at the bottom of the page, we have a copyright, we have a series of links back up into the page, and then we have uh, just a list of, of services. So I think that pretty much does it for this project. If you have any concerns, if there's anything you'd like me to add or do differently, uh, let me know. I'd be happy to look into that. Uh, but this has uh, been creating a portfolio site using the Materialized Design Framework. If you enjoyed this video, please click like and please click subscribe. And if you have any ideas for my next video, let me know.